Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa if you're new around here and welcome to today's video which is a what's new in HomeSense video and a haul at the end so you can see what I bought today. But yeah, let's just have a look at all of the gorgeous Christmas decorations. They had loads in and I wanna show you all of my favorites. First of all, garlands and wreaths galore. They had so many gorgeous garlands in this year. Loads of wreaths to choose from, which I absolutely loved the look of. And also lots of gorgeous decor pieces. They've always got great ornaments in store. I loved this tree topper, how pretty is that? And then of course, so, so many snow globes. I love a snow globe. so many boxes of baubles but this section here was my favourite. These look like they were all from Anthropology. like how gorgeous are these for kids bedrooms and kids decor. I just thought this was so so cute. I absolutely love it all. I love everything here. Look at this tree. I'm obsessed with trees at the minute and this was so cute. <laughs> Even more anthropology, Oliver Bonus inspired items here. Very cool, very kitsch. I love all of this. This is so cool. If I was going for more of a pink theme this year or like that kind of ice cream theme, I would choose all of this stuff. <laughs> There were loads of gift ideas in store as well. Look at this neon candle, how gorgeous is that? A Christmas one and it was $24.99. But like I said, they had so many amazing gifts in store today. And also they had this candle section, which was on sale. So all of their autumn candles were in the sale, but look at the festive candles. Oh, amazing. What does fresh, that smell like? Wedding day. Fresh peach. Oh. Smells like flowers. I really like this one. This one's mm. wild ice. Mmm, peach. It is so peachy, nice. yeah. That's really what one nice. is that? Farm fresh. Really nice. Peach. Smells oh, beauty, that. That one literally smells like a bouquet of flowers. Wedding day. Oh, I love that one. It's quite apt, isn't it, I suppose? That's a beauty, that one. Okay. Oh, this one I feel like will smell nice. Crisp campfire apples. Nice. Mm, yeah, it's nice. It's very. No, it's too much. Too much. Autumn sunset. Yeah, I like that. I like that, that kind of fragrance. Does it smell like a like an aftershave? Yeah. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. What was it? Tasted. That smells like aniseed or whatever. It smells like butter. What's it called? What's that pudding? Butter wouldn't melt. No. I don't even think what it's called now. Oh, um, um, uh, marzipan. Yeah, marzipan. Yeah. So loads of gifts, but if you're looking for ribbons, HomeSense had loads of ribbons. Look at this gorgeous ribbon holder. I actually bought one, but I'll show you my color later on in the video. And also, of course, more candles. I 
I really loved the tree skirts that they had in store as well. They had a few different tree skirts in today, which I've never seen. I love this red and white one. How beautiful is that? I'm back in the mug section. This is, tis a new season. You went on a bike, didn't you? <laughs> it's not me, it doesn't match my hair anymore. It does look like an old lady, actually. Yeah, I think I did actually. Dad, Mark, yeah. It's too much. I can drink that so, no, you don't like it. this one's for you. Little legs, isn't it? Yeah, this size is good for you. It's a bit too big, I'd say. Still too big. Yeah, a bit too big. For me. This one. Oh, that's classic, Granny. I like that one actually. Oh, these are all Christmassy here, though, aren't they? This is quite a nice one. It's really heavy. I don't like a heavy mug. Yeah, plus that is something I don't like. Coffee. This one is my favourite, and it's like yeah. like a snowy and ski scene. Weirdly, it's the first one you picked up. The first one, and it's nice and light, this and it's still nice. big okay. and pretty. Oh, that's a nice one too. What's your drink of choice? Oh, Spagliato. for children's gift ideas they had lots in store as well loads of great books i love these big dream books they're so cool if you're buying for baby's first Christmas, a newborn, if you've got a friend that's had a baby, you can create a little hamper. And that was only 9.99, I thought that was gorgeous. Right guys, so I thought I would get into this video. This is actually quite a little while since I filmed the original clips for this video when we went to HomeSense the other day. But it's been one of those weeks this week. Orlando's not been very well, so he was off school for like the end of last week and then the beginning of this week and now Renzo's caught what he had so he's off now today so I've only just had like the chance to sit down and film this for you so I'm just going to show you the bits that I did buy from home sets. I didn't buy a huge amount I just bought things that you know I saw in there that I really liked so I did also want to say something <laughs> you might have seen on my community tab the other day that we found the missing garland I I was so shocked <laughs> I, do you know what we found it in it's actually above me now it's up there but it's not staying there I've literally just plonked it up there so what happened was we were looking in the garage for some other bits other like decorations and we came across this blue box and it had lights written on it it was literally like a you know like a fairy lights box and it was only like this big and I do not remember opening it initially I really thought it was a brown box and when I messaged them they were like yeah it'll be a brown box so then I had that in my head that it was going to be a brown cardboard box and it wasn't it was a light box and Mark and I on that day we picked up that box and we were like oh we just got did we buy some extra lights last year spare lights and we thought well we don't actually need them right now so we'll just put them to the side and that's what we did we didn't look in the box we just put them to the side and Mark picked it up the other day and he was like, you'll never guess what I've just found. <laughs> and it was a garland. So my bad, <laughs> I have apologized. I definitely owe him a nice dinner or something like that because yeah, it was kind of my fault, I suppose, because I don't remember what box it is. Next time I'm gonna take a photo of it on my phone. Anytime that I get a delivery that I'm just gonna put away for safekeeping, I'm, I'm gonna take a picture of it next time. But anyway, I'm gonna show you what I bought from HomeSense. So let's get into it. I'm gonna start with this tree because I've got a thing about Christmas trees this year and like tree decor, like little trees, miniature trees. And I loved this. I just thought it was very me. It's, you know, gray, black, neutral kind of vibes. It's kind of like a, looks almost marbly, but stony at the same time. It's really, really, really heavy. And I just thought I could put this somewhere. It could be like a nice centerpiece actually for the coffee table i can never think of that word when i'm looking at it but for the coffee table this was 9.99 which i think is great because it is like i said very very heavy so i got that tree i also got the cat's little toy a festive toy which i think i might wrap up for them for christmas day and it's just like a little 
one of these ones. I love these kind of stick toys. It's got a little Santa on it and that was 3 99 They don't really have an awful lot of cats in there. They've got loads for dogs, not the biggest section for cats, but you know, quite a few bits. I did also get some festive bedding. So I bought this bedding for Orlando and it's a glow in the dark bedding actually. So it's just got a little Merry Christmas on there and a cute little Chris Christmassy scene. And this was only 14 99 The RRP for this one is £40. And it's got the code number two on the label, which means I saw a programme on TK Maxx and HomeSense and it was talking about like the labels and what numbers to look out for. So if it's got number two, that means that it's definitely come from the brand to be sold in TK Maxx. So you're getting the best discount there. When they've got a code like number one on them, that usually means that the product has been made for TK Maxx to be sold in store rather than coming from the brand as like extra stock, overstock and stuff like that. So yeah, codes to look out for are two and seven where you get the best discount apparently. And one is where, you know, sometimes you'll see that they've got loads of gift sets in store. And if they've got a code one on them, it means that it's already been made for TK Maxx so you don't get as much of a discount. But that's just what I, I heard on the telly the other day. So that's what I got. So I got that bedding for Orlando. And then I did mention that I don't have any Christmassy bedding for Renzo. So I got this one and it's so cute. It comes in this little bag. This one was $16.99 and it's a Wellesley Manor duvet set. I got the double set and it's just got a really lovely little festive scene on there again. They're all like little Christmassy houses. So I thought that would be really, really cute. So I got that. I'm going to wash that and put that on his bed later. One of these trees. So I told you I'm obsessed with trees and they've got loads of these in tk maxx they're different colors as well you know i love green so it's just a glass tree um and it's a uh, recycled glass this one and it's been made in spain so that's really nice and that was 6.99 that's really good isn't it 6.99 because i've seen some of these in i think habitat or argos and they are so expensive for this kind of size tree so 6.99 home sense you can't go wrong with that so i love that Thought it was really really pretty and then what else do i get i got this um mug which you might have seen already within the video so this one is by does it say who it's from no portobello by inspire i think it is and it's just got a little snow scene on it which i thought was so cute look at that I thought this looked very anthropology. They had a lot of things in there that looked like they would be from anthropology, Oliver Bonus, West Elm, and I feel like this definitely fits into that category and it was only six, no, 5.99. So cute, can't wait to have a drink in that later. I'm gonna wash it. And look at that inside, there's even like a little, look at that, that is so cute. Love that and it's a nice big size, you know, I like a big mug. So that is what I got. I also got some of this, which is really nice as well. So I've got a set of three um, ribbons. So we went for the bright red velvet, green velvet, and then we've also got like a red and gold. But look at this wooden holder. How cute is that? They had loads of different ones with different ribbons on them. But I thought these are very my colours this year, aren't they? And I loved the wooden holder so I can reuse that every year. I just thought that was so special. So that was $7.99. Like I said, they had quite a few different ones there. But that was all of the festive items I bought. I did buy one other item, which is this. It's a scalp massager. So as you know, I'm on a hair journey and TikTok gives you all the tips on hair and how to grow your hair. Like, you know, once you start liking like one or two posts about hair, they show you the every other TikTok you see. So a lot of tips I've read about is scalp massaging. So you should stimulate your scalp scalp to stimulate growth and stuff like that so thought i'd give it a go so this is by spa bella and it's a little scalp massaging brush type thing so i'm going to use that on my hair it's 4.99 as you dry use dry or with your favorite shampoo hair oil or serum gently massage scalp in short circular motions so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to give it a little whirl let me know if you've tried this method to stimulate growth or if you've got any other hair growth tips or products i have heard that rosemary oil and castor oil are meant to be really good but i don't know what is the best way to use them i don't know whether they're meant to be on the scalp or you know on the actual hair so let me know if you've tried those products before because i would love to know um but yeah those are all of the items that i bought for my home sets the other day i hope you're all well i've literally just filmed the intro for my bathroom tour video which you probably would have seen already by now because i put it live before this one so if you haven't seen it yet i'll link that one down below for you for the big bathroom reveal i love it so much i don't want to keep going on about it but i love it it's so so special so yeah thank you so so much for watching guys let me know if you've got any video requests for the next few weeks 
um i've got lots coming up for you anyway but let me know if you'd like to see anything specific and i will see you all in my next video thanks so much for watching bye